Omega. We watched both of them fight their way from the opposite sides of the winner's semis, and now we have an all New England winner's finals. It looks like we're going ahead and starting off and trying to figure out this. Has Blade got his controller plugged in? Okay, because <laughs> it just looked like he was getting hit by Fair for no reason. He was dead ass standing still. All yeah. right, we're starting up game one. I mean, there wasn't much he could do in that situation. So he could, you can cover all the options, falling forward air, jump again forward air. He's trying to make sure that Maddie could possibly do something when he got back to the stage. Oh, okay. I like the spacing from Maddie G on this the recovery series. Gonna be making it back nice and clean. Blade gonna try to get that counter. Gets there just in time, but should Ooh. be able to do it again. Nice right. counter. Ooh. Gets them both Two out. for one. Hey! Daily I like double that. jeopardy up in here, ding, man. Ding, 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 ding. I like that. Mars tries to get a sneaky, cheeky forward smash on the way back in. Doesn't matter. Sneaky, cheeky. You see us go. What? Hello? Oh, is that a dead stock counter? All right, there we go. That's going to be a dead stop. Wait. No, yeah, yeah, yeah make it's, it. it's Chrome. He's gone. Because sometimes, sometimes you can make it with the air dodge. Ooh, falling be... there on the left side of the screen. DM trying to edge guard this machine. And not going to work out. Lands on the stage instead of on the edge. Gets that down tilt. They switch targets. Mars is like, you can't stay here, man. You got to go. And that's great recognition as well. Because you really do have to make that distinction sometimes as to whether or not you need to switch off with your partner. Because like, oh, I'm having a little bit of trouble here. Or you can do more in the scenario. Oh, look at the stocks. Look at the stocks. Dropping like flies, man. But honestly, Maddie G and Kool-Aid, I, I always tell people when these two people team, there is like a, a an 80% chance they're going to win the doubles. Stocks. They're always just so commanding at what they do. They have this energy. They know exactly what they want. And they do it effortlessly. It's really like two friends who haven't seen each other in a long time sitting down and having a conversation at the bar. They know everything they need to talk about, and it happens with no effort. Yeah, why don't my friends talk to me like that? Though? Do you have friends? That's cr no, I don't think so, actually. I think I'd just be bullying people at random. Yeah, that's real. Psych, I ain't no bully, but it looks like they're getting bullied over here on the blue team, having a hard time getting rid of the stocks on yellow. Ooh, okay, put them off stage. Be good. All right, Dolphin Flash back to the stage. What are you going to do now? It looks like kool biding his time, waiting for DM to whip something in neutral and try to punish with an attack of his own as Maggie team makes his way back to the stage. Mars is trying to set up for the counter. And look, he's biding his time. Not even going to poke him on the ledge. He's trying to make sure that Kool-Aid got DM out of it to make sure that his option back in the stage would be covered. Doesn't matter, he got covered by that back air to be sent. Whoa. Two for one doesn't matter to him, but it does now because it's definitely a 2v1 situation. Mom and Pop versus another player who should not be in this game, actually. <laughs> got the whole Fire Emblem squad. It's going to be a fortune for Mars there, killing his teammate with the up air to try to recover. And wow, he said he angled the shield breaker down. He was clean above it, but he still got hit. Hitboxes. 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 Look at this. Hitboxes. Doesn't matter which angle I thrust it in. You're near me, dog. <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> You're near me. Huh? <laughs> oh, he landed on the hilt of the sword. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, landed. There we go. This is really good. Boom. Yeah. Two for one special. And honestly, that, that was DM's fault for not recovering there. He could have gone uh, sideways and diagonally up and to the right, but he just didn't pick the right two angles. And that's why he didn't make it back to the stage. It was pretty funny because, like, Krom is like, all right, Lucina, do your best. <laughs> Come on. Kill both of them. I'm proud of you, man. That's really good. Good game one going late in Maddie G right here as you see the replay. I mean, Mars just had to get rid of some stock there. Too bad he got rid of his boy stock in the process. Yeah, and stocks are just very volatile in this matchup. Because everyone except for well, I mean, Lucina and and uh, Pikachu, they're going to live for a pretty long time. It's hard to edge guard those characters. But once again, Lucina has a counter. Pikachu's just ridiculous offstage. He can go as deep as he wants. So when you have the, the Chromes, the Ike, you're going to see them dying offstage more often than not. And both teams' game plan is to kill that member of the opposing team first. It looks like Mars is going back to the tried and true ZSS, but the ultimate version at that. Let's see what he can really make happen with this character switch. You got, this is the subspace team. ZSS and Pikachu were hanging out, running out hallways, trying, oh, yeah. to, trying to save people. They didn't even speak to each other. They were just there. Yeah, man, they were doing the 100-yard dash. <laughs> Definitely was zooming. Out there. Oh, okay, Ooh. I like that grab to the forward smash coming out here. It's going to work. Yikes! That's footwork right there. Good down tilt into hop skis. Right, so you think you can dance. <laughs> so you think you can dance. <laughs> Will that be a nah, I missed that show, man. Alfonso had it. <laughs> <laughs> About the suit Fortnite out here, right? <laughs> Speaking of that show, man, that was where legends were made. We're going to have legends created right on New England turf right here for the first ultimate uh, winner's finals. Going to see people making their way to get the, the, the dub, right? Because you're going to start your legacy by winning the first doubles event for ultimate. 
Yeah, the first big one for New England at the very least. Oh, good down smash meteor, right? Excuse me, down air meteor to get him down and bounce right back up. The issue here is there's still three stocks for each of the blue team members, and yellow's already down. Yeah, that's true. Kool-Aid trying to hang on here. But they're, they're at high enough percent where if he just continues to play neutral as he has been, he should be able to find the KO as long as he just waits and bides his time. But especially for attacks like he did right there with that forward smash, he will get punished and find himself dying fairly early, almost down to the flip kick from Mars. Tried to get that rising booster, didn't work out. Forward air coming out from Maddie. Up air, gets her out of here. Now the stocks are looking a little better, however the percent, not the same way. And people were worried that ZZS wasn't gonna be as good as she was in uh, Smash 4 because, you know, Nairo dominated and Sakurai's like, hey dog, I don't like that. Shut her down a little bit, but they forgot about Nair, Nair baby. Facts. Nair, 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 baby. Nair. Oh, the god, like you throw it out, you fastball it, it's hard to deal with. You just kinda gotta respect it. It's one of those moves where you don't do anything about it. It's like when a, a Ganon perfectly spaces up smash on your shield, you just have to let it rock. I mean, you got no choice. I ain't jumping in no sword. <laughs> yeah. you, you, you good. You got it, dog. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, what do you think the ZSS pick is doing that the Ike pick was not? Because movement. Really, it's the movement. It's the recovery angles. It's the movement. It's the, the concise usage of flip kick. The easy out of shield booster kick is working. Double up smash gets both of them out of here. Stock's looking a lot better now. That's exactly where you want it. Both members of the opposing team, a lot of times you see them uh, kill a member of the opposing Oh, he got him out of there. He got him out of there. He really did it. He hit him with the prom up B and he got sent straight into the blast zone. That's not looking so good. And then Mars fell right afterwards. But this is one of his finals. So I mean, even if they're down this game, they got one more chance. You know, it's wild because the amount of hits on, on that move is actually OD. Like you would think a character like Pikachu would be able to recover, but he's actually just stuck in his, oh no. Oh, What's doing? And it is Matty G, so I know it was on purpose too. Disrespectful. Oh, Ooh, he tries to get the dirty shield breaker. There's people in the back having coffee and tea right now as Pikachu is getting worked. Yeah, straight 20, 21 Savage, right? What? Ah, that's not okay, dog. <laughs> 321. 321, though. Man, I would wear this outfit to afternoon tea and crumpets. <laughs> Man, oh, that's it? Straight that's into it. the body. I mean, the trade, but it doesn't matter. The hitbox is already out there. He might have reacted to it in his character persona, but the sword already smashed. You feel me? So that's 2 0. Well right now, one more. One more. One more, more chance. Finals, right? There's going to be a best of five. Wow. Oh. Dirt nasty. Look at this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get that kill off the right side. And then there it is. Yeah, the yeah, upbeat. That that's what Ether. changed everything. Because look, tried to get back up with the booster kick. Tried to zare to the ledge. Unable to because there was a back there waiting for him from Matty G. Situation was not there for him. Ooh, stay hydrated. Mm. Chugging that water. Team Whew. Let's see what's gonna happen here, y'all. He's going back to Ike. Didn't feel too comfortable about that switch, even though he did perform a lot better in the early game. The problem was still the recovery of CSS isn't as scary as Ike. Ike has a sword he throws up and jumps to, so that's a rising hitbox. Whereas CSS's uh, boost kick got nerfed considerably from forward to ultimate. Especially since people, you know, they've had years to learn the DI for that move. They're just like holding down, like, all right, I'm good, whatever. I'm at 100, hold down, I'm good. But now this time around, we got to see what the Ike will do here. Will it be able to actually, they need to get Matty G. They need to get Matty G, and they need to be relentless about it. They need to keep him on stage. They need to not let him have any on stage presence, because that's exactly where Krom signs. He has some very strong buttons. I mean, strong buttons are just a strong blade. I mean, the hand is there. It's no. all in the hand. It's perfect. He is, he is slashing and dashing. Gets his boy out of this. Says, Ike, you're gone. Ooh, Ooh, the save tries to come out. Tries that air dodge safely, but you know, that lag is not going to let him have it. Let's see what else he can do here. Oh, okay. See, we've actually seen Mars go for that quite a bit. He goes for the landing there, and then he baits out the air dodge. Right? It's kind of uh, akin to when he would go for those 50-50 setups in Smash 4. But this time, he could just get a guaranteed conversion. He's choosing not to, to get the, the juice on the reef. The juice. Trying to make sure he gets the correct read every time. It's a really good situation to put himself in. You have to see how your opponent reacts every time because if they can honestly do the same thing, then you know what you got exactly. on your hands. However, when they start to adapt, there's so much time that Ike has to do something else. It's just like, all right, I'll just wait it out. He got options. He has, uh, he's plus by, by a good chunk. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh, I can do 
I, I have the advantage of the scenario whether or not I immediately go for a conversion or I wait it out. You're still on the defensive parry. Make an option based on that. Parries on parries on parries. Good wake up right there for Maddie D to prevent himself from getting hit by that Ike down smash. Grabs him as he falls in. Quick attack's gonna move him out of a bad position. However, the safety, the plusness. Yes, he is plus. He is moving before you get a chance. Oh, Ooh. speaking of not getting a chance. That man's gone. Just heard Pikachu screaming. Oh my god, again. Mary G finding the KO. Three. Five to three in favor of yellow again. And this is gonna be a clean 3-0 for the boys in pink. I'm saying Dajo Blue Dot GG. Good nice. meteor coming out from Pikachu's big old forehead. Oh, he got a dome on him, that's for sure. His whole body is it's just a It's kinda like Kirby, right? It's like a head, nothing else. You got like some stubs, but <laughs> Largely, hey man, it's hey just man. head. You ain't gonna call Pikachu fat no more. You seen the glow up he had? Yeah, about all that weight loss. His glow up, his slim gyms, his wheat thins, his wheat thins. Veggie sticks, he hey, the whole thing. Veggie sticks kind of slap. Though. I mean, they do. Maybe <laughs> hit. Now we're gonna see what Vian can do here because he has to kind of carry Mars. He has to stay alive here to give Mars a chance at coming back again, like a Krillin every time he dies. You gotta get the Dragon Balls right. He is the Dragon Balls for Mars right now. I mean, he's collected enough of them. Let's see what he wishes for. Hopefully the wish makes sense to keep his boy alive. Good recovery coming over from Mars. Able to hit. Oh! His teammate. Able to hit his teammate. That is a... Uh, that's rough stuff, baby. Mm. Uh, Father-daughter combo. Trying to make something happen. The future is at stake. Ooh! You know, know what I think was supposed to happen there? What's the kill move? What's the kill move? What's the kill move? Call it, call it, call it. Well, it, it, I, I don't know what the kill move. It's probably going to be another shield break. Shield break up for us, man. Now, that's my guess. But it's going to be something crazy. I bet it's going to be something so unorthodox. Ooh. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> unorthodox. <laughs> call it. You owe me money. Yeah, you're right. You Just kidding. My bank account? <laughs> <laughs> my bank account? Hey, it's okay to be broke. Yeah, yeah, that ain't happening. Look at dash attack. Yeah, that, that was, that was such weird. bad DI. But, but you know what happened with that forward smash? I think Mars thought DM was going to do a throw, use the invulnerability that he would get from that, and then from there, DM wouldn't have taken any knockback, but he would have gotten the kill. So he wouldn't have died. They wouldn't have had that trade. But instead, yeah, they both ended up dying. Damn. Port priority at work, baby. <laughs> Port priority. Oh. That was a good winner's final. That's yeah. not been a thing for two games, bro. Hey, bro, <laughs> port priority is a real game. You got a rock, paper, scissors for fourth court oh. and brawl. You don't know. All right, so brawl, right? <laughs> Meta Knight. Is it the lore? Oh, you want lore? I got you. Is it you. the lore? Yeah, like, so, 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 so brawl, Meta Knight. And, and brawl. <laughs> and then that's, that's it? That's, that's how not it. You don't even, he doesn't even know. Ice climbers. That's how you oh. know. You don't even know. What do you mean I don't know? I was playing brawl back in the day. Yeah, when you were like six at your aunt's house. No, like, I was 13. Auntie, can I please I play um, the Nintendo Wii, please? No, nah, actually, I went to my boy's house. My aunt. Like, oh, she knows you boy video games. Most of them.